Hey guys, thank you for watching. See, I told you guys to be back with another video really soon. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a hair tutorial because it has been a hot minute since I last did one and I really want to take advantage of the fact that my hair is dry. If you are subscribed to me and you watch my videos, then you probably already know, that was my daughter, then you probably already know that it takes me a really long time to get my hair dry because I have to go through the whole rollers, hair dryer, blow dryer, then flat iron, and that process takes forever. So when I have my hair dry, I need to take advantage of it. I'm really excited to do this. I wanted to do curls that weren't so defined. I'm somebody that likes to have really defined curls. Don't know why, but I've just always been geared towards that. So I wanted to switch things up and not doing them so tight and so defined. And I really like how it turns out. I think it makes your hair look a lot more voluminous and like it has this natural wave to it, which it so doesn't. But we are going to fake it till we make it. This hairstyle, in my opinion, is perfect for everyone. If you are the working woman, going to school every day, you know, you need to attend a formal event. I think this hairstyle is going to look so perfect and it's not going to look over the top for absolutely anyone. Yet it's still really, really pretty that if you needed to wear it to a formal event it's gonna look totally fine um, and I also think it's really really perfect for any kind of um, hair length see my hair disrespect see my hair um, is actually not very long but for those of you who do have really really long hair it's still gonna look really pretty on you and if your hair is shorter than mine it's still gonna look good on you too um, so I think this hairstyle works for everyone in my opinion obviously I'm gonna stop my talking because I feel like this intro is already really long so with that being said I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching please leave me some feedback so I know what you guys think of my videos and other than that I'll see you guys next time bye I already parted my hair but obviously you can put whatever part um, in your hair that you want to um, and then I'm going to section off my hair and I'm going to be working with about inch inch and a half sections of hair and obviously never forget your heat protector so yeah there's about an inch to an inch and a half of hair there and then I'm going to take the new me 32 millimeter wand and I'm going to start curling my hair away from my face for this specific hairstyle I like to alternate the curls I like to do some curls going in towards my face and others going away from my face and so on and so forth and this will just ensure that the curls don't just stick together if you were to just do them all curling away from your face then it's just at the very end going to turn into just like one big curl of hair so it's good to alternate that way they don't stick together and just become a uniform curl if that makes any sense to you guys um, but yeah here I'm curling this one towards my face because the first one I did was away from my face And then we're going to be left with a nice defined, like, fatter curl, um, which they do look really defined at the moment, but they are going to end up falling, which is going to give you a nice little wave at the end. Be very, very, very careful if you're using a curling wand. I am not normally accustomed to using these fatter barrels. I normally use the much thinner barrels, so the medium-sized ones, never the big ones. And I kept burning myself. I swear to God, guys, if I had... A dollar for every time I burned myself, I, I would have had at least like 20 bucks because it was like a, it was bad. I even burned myself in the face. Like this curling iron and I are not friends. I mean, I'm still going to use it, but we ain't we ain't cool like that. I'm just going to be repeating the same process, so I'm just going to fast forward. But it's going to go away from my face, and then the next one towards my face, away from my face, towards my face, and just make sure that the outer pieces of your hair are being framed away. If you want to end up with a nice wave at the end, just make sure you're holding the barrel for 10 to 15 seconds. Once you feel the heat pull through, then you can let it go. If you wait any longer, then it's just going to be curlier at the end. But if you want wavy, then yeah, 10 to 15 seconds works. I will be spraying the sections of hair in between. I'm just using some of the Tresemme um, hairspray. <laughs> and I mean, I really like this hairspray. It's nice and cheap, and I think it does the job. It's worked for me really well. I've used it for a very long time, and it's never done me wrong. It doesn't make my hair crunchy either. And yeah, just repeating the same process. Once you feel the heat pull through, you let the curl go and you end up with these curls. Once I get to the top part of my hair, I like to curl all of those pieces going away from my face. 
just so they frame it very nicely and flattering and they're not all up in my face. However, when I get to the very front, the top part that is like the one that's most visible, I like to curl that one going in towards my face like this. Kind of like if I was curling bangs. Reason being is just because the way that it falls, it looks kind of like a sideways swept bang and I feel like that's the most flattering on me personally. Um, so yeah, I just, if you see it falls kind of like going forward but then when I push it backwards, it has like a sideways swept looking effect. So if your hair is about as long as mine is in the front, then you can definitely do the same thing and it'll work the same way for you too. And for the last step, which is completely optional, I just like to shake my hair. I like to ruffle, ruffle it up so it doesn't look so neat and prim perfect because I don't like my hair looking like that. I like to give it some more volume. If you um, need to give your hair a little tease, this is the time to do it. I don't really tease my hair too often, so I skip that step because my hair already is naturally puffy in the roots, so I don't need to do that step. But if you need to, girl, go ahead. And then I just like to finger comb just because I feel like that's the most effective way to achieve this kind of like wave instead of brushing it through with a real brush. And other than that, that pretty much completes this hair tutorial. I'm going to give it a last little spray. And that pretty much completes this look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!